welcome back to Shelly and A, where you know when we're on. It's poppin'. If you saw the title, you know things are about to get real freaky up in here. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's that's cool. I'm here for a little freaky deaky. It might for like two seconds at the end. A point two. Before we kick anything off, we just hope you guys are doing super well and that quarantine is treating you as good as it can be. Just again, we're really, really proud of you guys, you know, for doing what you can do to just make yourselves feel good during this time. Remember, it's all about you and we're really proud of you guys. And thank you for remembering us throughout this time, even though we know you have more important things on your plate. So thank you for being here for us as well and showing all your beautiful support. Before we get into our first times, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell if you're nasty, and don't forget to tell your besties, guys. Sorry, it's okay. Thank she you. always wants to break the mic. Yes, I do. Mm. That's <laughs> the goal. <laughs> we have eight firsts, yes. The first first is the first first. <laughs> first phone oh my first phone was a samsung flip phone it was silver wow mm -hmm. and it had a you little antenna samsung. it had an antenna and it had a little black sam well it was a black thing in the middle with the white samsung written or samsung written in white on it that's very cute yeah and you had to text with the numbers, if you wanted to write you, you would have to go to like whatever number it is, number nine, to go one, two, three, yeah. and wait, and then one, two, three, whatever the number was, mm -hmm. you had to press it until Those were the, the days where you had to really, yeah, press yeah. it a bunch of times to get the letter you want. Yeah, so all, just... those, all those younger people, they, they have the luxury of just, when they're mad, we had to be like, three, four, five, six, right? <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, third letter is, one, two, three, four, five. But, we did get satisfaction out of If you know what I'm talking about. My first phone was definitely a Motorola Racer. Oh, it was a metallic you were fancy. pink one. I remember She was fancy. Not even fancy, but I remember thinking if I'm getting a phone and I'm paying for it myself, which I always pay for my own stuff like mm -hmm. that, I was like, it's gonna be the model I want and it's gonna be the color I want. Mm -hmm. And I liked the hot pink more, but I remember thinking that when I actually got the metallic pink, that I remember thinking that that was even hotter than the the hot pink. Mm -hmm. You were one of those girls. I was one of those girls. Ooh, our first physical fight. Not between us, mm -hmm. but in general. What was your first physical fight? So my first physical fight wasn't even a fight that I was directly involved mm -hmm. in. Basically, long story short, was that I was trying to save my friend's butt from getting kicked back in high school. This person said they heard this person saying this about them and the person was like, no I didn't. And the person was like, I don't believe you. And then I'm gonna hurt you. Then yanked the girl's hair. And then I was like, oh no. And at that point, like my locker was right there. So the other one girl basically threw the other girl into the locker and it was my locker. And I was like, oh my God, okay. And I'm like, first of all, let me just stop this because I had a game that I had to be at. So I basically was just breaking up the fight. Mm -hmm. It wasn't my fight. I'm mm -hmm. not a fighter, people, but I will stop the fights. She'll fight if she has to. If I have to, I'd rather not. Mm -hmm. Also, if you are a female and you pull hair, I'm not your friend. That I'm just, and you know, if it happened in the past and you've grown up, I'll accept that. But please don't ever, if you're ever gonna approach anybody and fight, don't pull the hair. I don't mean to disrespect, but I just feel like if you're pulling hair, that means you can't fight. That so means you can't fight. Shouldn't. It's not disrespect. Yeah, if you pull hair. Don't. You don't need to do that. Yeah, either fight properly or just mind your biz. Square. Oh. oh. Yeah. 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 My first fight. I was gonna say my brother only because I know sibling fights don't count, but our fights. Counted yeah. because we had very bad fights like nosebleeds, black eyes, whipping each other into furniture. Trust me, it was bad. I feel bad for my parents and my sister also because <laughs> she just had to witness the whole thing and was like, okay, this is fine, <laughs> you know. But, anyways, we're besties, so it's all good. But outside of my siblings, the one I can remember is that because I don't know, I probably was hurting because I, I slapped a few kids when I was in kindergarten and stuff, but oh. whatever, we don't need to go there. Yeah, it was pretty violent, yeah. Yeah. So, but when I was in the seventh grade, I believe, was it seventh grade? No, it was the eighth grade. 
and I guess I was 13 at the time. We still had to line up to go inside because we're kids, even though we all think that we're big and bad, we still have to line up to mm -hmm. go inside. <laughs> so we're waiting to go inside, and I was chubbier then, so this skinny, skinny girl was standing in front of me, and she was just turning around. She thought she was being funny, and she was like, oh, my boyfriend taught me how to punch. First of all, do I care? Number one. Number two, you're gonna push me to my limit. Wait, she was punching you? She was punching my like belly. in your body areas? In my belly. And I was just like, I stood there, and then all of a sudden I waited for her to like pull back, like you know when you go like this before you punch, and I just took my right hand, and I was just like, like right up her, like in, like in her stomach. <laughs> oh my and she God. was tiny, right? So she was just like, oh, and she like, like, hurled over, whatever the word is, and she just couldn't breathe, and I was just like, cool. I didn't you know, say a word, I just did it, and I didn't say a word, and I just <laughs> I just stood there. That's what you get for touching someone, first of all, because you're violating their space, Yeah. and they don't want to be touched, skinny, big, fat, short, small, whatever. Yeah. Like, no one wants to be touched, so what do you, you ask for it. Like, yeah, she did ask for it, I don't care, I ain't sorry. <laughs> oh my God, people, actually, that just, that's where it just makes me mad, like I hate. And that's the thing with me, I know you're gonna get emotional, mm -hmm. but, and that's the thing with me too, I would never start a fight ever in my life but if you do one thing it's on and also your boyfriend didn't teach you jack because your punching sucked <laughs> first concert like okay outside of kids concerts because i went to an arthur concert and that was so awesome that's so dope but, wow i didn't yeah. know that about you yeah it was arthur Holy. live in concert they were the big mascot thing wow yeah i went to this cool concert with my mom and I don't know if it was my whole family or if it was just my mom, but I remember that it wasn't a throwback. It would have been a throwback if it was now, but back then everybody was there. Like Tweet was there. Do you remember Tweet? No. I don't know who else was there. I don't want to say the wrong thing. It was a whole bunch of them. I'm going to ask my mom what it was. I feel bad that I don't remember, but it was so cool because everybody was there and people were just popping up. I remember my mom almost got in a fight because this lady was walking up and she was pushing up on us and they kept saying, oh, my cousin is at the front. My cousin's at the front. And my mom's just like, and, and they yeah, were, who cares? Not yeah. a problem. Yeah, and they were walking in their bare feet, and she was just like, "Oh Lord, okay." But yeah, it was super fun. It was super cool. I don't remember who else was there, but there was a bunch of people. And I need to ask my mom about that. So, comment down below, mom, if you remember what I'm talking about. Or comment down below if you were actually at that concert as well. Yeah, because that's pretty cool. I've never. I don't know who Tweet is personally, but I missed out. I'm gonna show you some songs after this video. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I have to brace myself. <laughs> My first concert was Janet Jackson. Ooh, that's better than mine. No, yours sounds very iconic. <laughs> it was. Um, <laughs> But mine was just, it was so good. If, if you guys have ever seen the Jacksons, any of the Jacksons perform live, it's it takes your soul away. Like, wow. especially Janet Jackson, she's she just goes in every second. There's no breathing, there's no breaking, there's no like taking a moment to relax. Just like Michael, I feel. I've never seen Michael Jackson in concert. That was the one thing I wish I had been able to do. But yeah, Janet Jackson, and it was definitely life changing, guys. I actually saw the Jacksons five or six years ago with my mom and we had the best time in our entire life. The next one's a good one. What was the first thing you learned to cook? First thing I learned to cook had to have been eggs, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, maybe that's why I love eggs so much to this day because it was like the first thing I learned to cook. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I love eggs so much. Mm -hmm. I would literally eat it breakfast, lunch, dinner. But anyways, yes, definitely learned to cook eggs. And if it wasn't eggs, it was probably craft dinner, but I'm gonna say it was eggs. Mine was eggs too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As I feel like almost everybody learns to cook eggs first and then mm -hmm. all the other stuff will come next, like rice and chicken and all that stuff. It was like, there's levels to this. Yeah, 100% you know? <laughs> levels to this. Mm -hmm. And I feel like eggs, you can't really mess it up, especially if you're doing scrambles. Mm -hmm. So our parents were probably just like, yeah, like just break the egg in there and mix it up mm -hmm. and live life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. First paying job. I'll just skip to what I felt was my first real, real job. Okay. Which I was getting paid for, obviously. I was a receptionist at a real estate company. So that was pretty cool. But you consider that your first real paying job is what you're saying? Yeah, or? because I never, when I was younger, could get jobs. Mm -hmm. I remember I applied to Skechers and I never bought anything from Skechers to this day after <laughs> I didn't get the job there because I was, I'm very... 
can hold a grudge. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh. I, I'm just kidding. I'm just, just being stupid. But yeah, no, I didn't get that. And I know there was a few other things I applied for working with the city and like other things like that. And I just mm -hmm. never got it. But yeah, that was my first real paying job. But when I was in high school, I used to do other stuff. Like I would cut hair, like I would cut boys' hair and stuff like that. Cause I just developed that skill on Hustler. my own. And then just turned into a mini business. But my first real job was receptionist. What about you? It was basically at a kitchen, I guess you could say. It's kind of like a factory that made the baked goods and stuff for a store. Mm -hmm. That was pretty much it. I probably gained like 30 pounds working there just because <laughs> we baked all day long and there was lots of scraps and stuff that we could just eat because always better to eat things and throw them out. I feel like that's why I couldn't work at a food place either because I couldn't stand to see all the food go to waste. So Trust. I just stay away. <laughs> How old were you when you first left home? I'm gonna say maybe 21 going on 22. It's somewhere around there. I really can't remember the exact number. Mom, if you remember, maybe you do. Comment down below. Yeah, mine was the same. I left home at 21 as well. So it's a good age, it's a solid age yeah, to home, so. It is, it feels like that just right age. I mean, the right age is gonna be different for everyone, obviously, but yeah. I feel like for our generation, I don't know, it seems like that was the age-ish, mm -hmm. but whatever, everyone's different. Actually, most people we know are still living at home, which is fine, mm -hmm. so there's no, like you said, there's no right age, no. and there's nothing wrong with that, it's actually smart, not save money, but yeah. yeah. Absolutely. First date. Ooh. Ooh, you. So this is gonna be our first date because nobody ever wants to hear about anything else mm, because of no one cares. Only first date, so. Yeah, that's the only date that truly exists and actually means anything. Let's see if she remembers. Okay there, so I our first everything. date, you really do. Our first date was <laughs> Definitely, we went on like a walk, like a nature walk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and in our old area, there was this like little park thing and it had like a rolling river and it had like a bridge over it and stuff. But below that, or like just below that, you could kind of like climb down there and just like chill. I think there was like a big log that had fallen yeah. over the riverbank or whatever. Mm -hmm. And you were like, I think we were both walking over it, but I think you were kind of afraid to. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> And you're doing it now. Yeah, so there you have it. I definitely remember. She did remember. He did well. How could I forget, honey bun? She is a bad memory. Let me live. I can't be great at everything. Yeah, but that was the one. And it was a great date. I remember you posted that video and her friends were like, oh, so that's what you've been doing. <laughs> <laughs> they probably really did I say remember. that. Yeah. That was funny. Okay, the last one. <laughs> First kit. That's a little bit deep, guys. Is it deep? Oh, oh no. I don't know if they deserve. Our kids always deserve. They do, they do, mm -hmm. they do. <laughs> don't go ham on me. Okay, <laughs> she's saying don't go ham on her because she used to try to kiss me all the time and I would say, nope. She'd be like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because I wanted to make sure, you know, she was a good one first. <laughs> Come for me. <laughs> Woo! Anyways, so we were in Netflix and chilling one time. <laughs> Like literally just Netflix. And yeah, like don't be weird. We, yeah. I mean, if I wasn't even letting her give me no pecs. Like, yeah, yeah, factuals and factuals. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, obviously yeah. know like it yeah. was PG. So anyways, we were Netflix and chilling. And then, <laughs> this is so weird. And then I started to, I started to fall asleep. And so then she was giving me little kisses here, like one. Two, she's just getting closer and closer into my head. I was like, oh my God, this girl's still going. She's really going for it. And then she gave me one right here, right there. So it was like kind of on the lips, but like at the corner. And then, you know, people have hormones and I just <laughs> jumped on her and I gave okay. her a kiss. <laughs> I did, I gave her a kiss back, but it was a kiss, that was it. And then we ended up just falling asleep I think falling together. asleep, yeah. Cuddling. Yeah. 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 Mm. I mean, not that I didn't know before, but the kiss was like, oh, yep, she's the one. <laughs> wow. Anyways, 
Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Woo! Okay, that was a lot, you guys. We're done. Yeah, we're done for, for now. That was too much. So, it was a lot of share. Yeah, mm -hmm. which we don't mind doing as long as you guys are watching. Mm -hmm. If you want us to go into more detail about any other first times or anything like that, get us to a thousand subscribers and then a hundred thousand and then a million. It is a lot for us to divulge. That's so. what it is. It's not even about who deserves and who doesn't. It's yeah. just it's a lot to share. We're very private people. I know it sounds weird because we're on YouTube, but before that, we've always been very private people. We're just opening our hearts to everybody. Yeah, so thank you. Thank y'all. Thank you for the ones who've been here and have been here since day one. And for all of y'all that are here now and continuing to ride with us. We really do appreciate you guys. And if we could have you all in one room and just squeeze you to death, like we definitely would. We just love you guys so much. <laughs> thank you for- Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you for loving us. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> if you made it to the end of the video, guys, please give this video a huge like or Emma. Oh my gosh. Drop us a comment. Tell us which, you know, first was your fave to know about. Let us know what you guys want to hear from us. DM us on Instagram. Follow us on all social media. Everything is at Shelly and Nay. You can find us everywhere if you just type in at Shelly and Nay. Let us know what you want to see from us, hear from us, learn from us. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell if you're nasty. And don't forget to tell your besties. Guys, keep telling the besties. Spread the word. Let them know. On our way to 1,000 subscribers. Later, kids.